Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki LaRose and today I thought I would do the super popular TikTok trend, clean makeup. So after watching a couple of these tutorials, I went to go pull the products to use for my version of this look. And I realized I was pulling a lot of the stuff that I use just on a daily basis. So this look is just, it's such a great daily makeup look. It is just what it says. It's clean, it's fresh, it's healthy, and it's right up my alley. So let's get right into it. So my skin's already prepped. I'll make sure I link my skincare in the description box. But to finish my skincare prep, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite products, I use this all the time on my channel, it's the Super Goop Glow Screen Sunscreen, it's SPF 40. And this is gonna give my skin that beautiful glow from within look underneath my foundation. So just using my fingertips, I'm gonna take that glow, that glow screen and apply it all over my face, even under my eye. on my eyelids too, which is obviously super important with sunscreen in general. You don't wanna leave out any parts of your face, even your eyelids, they need that protection as well. I feel like you can't do this clean girl makeup trend without a product like this. Like this is like the holy grail of this kind of trendy makeup look. It's just, it gives your skin that beautiful, like healthy, hydrated glow. It just, it's a must. So moving on to my foundation, I'm gonna be using the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude True to Skin Natural Glow Foundation. So I bought a few of these for my kit and I really just pull them out when I'm doing like a, either a skincare campaign or I need to do that no makeup makeup look. So I'll be applying this all over with a brush. I'll be using the Morphe Y9 brush for this foundation. And then as usual, I'll start like in the center of my face. Ooh, it's gonna feel like a lot, but. This blends out really nice and sheer. Starting the center of my face and working it outward just so it's nice and natural. and then blending down my neck. And then using whatever's left over on my brush, I'm just gonna gently tap it onto my eyelid. Just for a really natural wash of color and just to help with any discoloration I have on my eyelids, which I do have a lot of discoloration, but I don't want it to look like I have too much makeup on my eyelids. For this look especially, it has to be nice and clean and natural. Okay, so for this trend, moving on to brows, my brows are already laminated off camera, so they're already groomed, they're already pushed up into place, which is very much the trend, the clean girl makeup trend, but I'm gonna go in and start to feather on individual brow hairs with the Anastasia brow pin. This is like magic. I've tried so many brow pins that are on the market, and this one, I don't know why I didn't try it when it first came out. I was like reluctant to try it for some reason. This one is like the best by far. So I highly recommend it. I'll be using dark brown and I'm not gonna try to do them too dark, which is you know, not so much the trend. It's more like a natural but fluffy brow. So I'll try to keep it nice and light, but this is gonna give me the best brow hair-like effect. So with any brow pens or markers or liquid eyeliners, which is essentially what this is, you wanna make sure you shake the product first and that you'll get a much better application if you do that. I feel like a lot of people don't remember to shake these and you gotta get the ink all the way to the tip of the pen. So I'm gonna rest my pinky on my cheek just for more stability when I'm using this product, just like you would with like a uh, liquid eyeliner.
Okay, they're gonna look really dark right now. They have to dry down. This is very wet, so I'll give it a couple seconds. It's also gonna look really shiny because it has to dry down. So I'm gonna do this brown now. And you can see it's really important to just do upward strokes. You don't wanna go down with this. You don't wanna go straight across. You wanna just go very lightly. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to my eyes. I'll be using one of my favorite products. I use this all the time in my tutorials and pretty much like almost daily in my makeup kit on my clients. This is the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. So I'll be using the color Medium Dark. And since this one is my personal product, I'm just gonna take that sponge applicator and just directly apply it to my eyelid. I love this product in particular, like when I'm doing my makeup in the morning, I just want something really quick and easy that just gives me a little bit of color and smooths my eyelids because this definitely smooths your skin as well. I put this on, I blend it, I put a little bronzer in my crease and I'm done. It's like the easiest eye makeup look ever. And it lasts all day because it is an eyeshadow base. So nothing creases on top of it. To blend this out on my eyelid, I'll be using the 221 Lux Soft Crease Brush from Zueva. So now I'm gonna blend this just all onto my eyelid and into my crease as well. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more on just because I love the color of this product. It's so pretty. Very clean, very natural. And there's a reason why I haven't done my concealer yet. I usually wait till after I'm done with my eye makeup because that way I can really just go and blend across my eyelid, across my crease, and I don't have to be so precious with it. Whereas if I had my concealer on before I did my eye makeup, I'd have to really worry about it and take that area into consideration. Whereas right now I can just go in, I can blend it and make it really soft, really blown out without worrying about disrupting my concealer. And I make sure I take this all across my eyelid. So even like close to my tear duct, and then feathering it outward towards my temple. So my next eyeshadow is not gonna be an eyeshadow. It's gonna be one of my favorite bronzers. I've used this one before in a tutorial. This is the Radiant Bronze Light from Hourglass. And it's just a beautiful, like it says, radiant glowy bronzer. So I'm gonna be using this with a fluffy brush in my crease. And then later on, I'll be tying this all in by applying it to the rest of my forehead and my cheeks as well. And I'll be using a fluffy brush. This one's from the Morphe uh, collaboration with Makeup by Ariel. This is such a great fluffy blending brush. I love this one. So with this color, I'm just gonna blend it all across my crease. It's not gonna take a whole bunch of skill or technique, which is the great part about this makeup look. It's just gonna look very clean and very effortless. And 
And just like with that eyeshadow primer, I'm making sure that I'm taking this and I'm bringing it all across my crease. So I'm really going from the center all the way across to my tear duct, almost bring it to the side of my nose very gently, like with whatever's left over on my brush. I'm not like actually applying a whole bunch of color there, but with whatever's left over on my brush, I'm gonna blend it towards my tear duct and the side of my nose and then bring it out just past the tail of my brow. Okay, my eyeshadow is on. Next up, I'll be using the Costa Riche Eyeliner from MAC. This is one of my all time favorite liners and you'll see how beautiful and just soft it is on. I'll be using this just on the top lash line and then just smudging it very lightly. So I'm gonna get this as close to my lashes as possible. And then taking a small blending brush, this one's from that same Morphe collaboration with Makeup by Ariel. I love this smudger brush, it's so good. So I'm gonna be just very, very lightly smudging this liner out. I'm not trying to create a wing. I'll probably have like a little hint of a wing because I think it's more flattering, but you'll see. The point of blending this is just to soften the liner so it's more effortless, more like, the point of doing this is just to soften that eyeliner so it doesn't really look so much like eyeliner, it's just kind of like a hint of eye definition. Okay, that side's on. I'm gonna move on to this side now. And then smudge it out. Taking a step back to make sure they're even. Okay, just nice and natural and clean and effortless. But just enough to make my eyes pop. Going, switching back over to face, I'm gonna start to very lightly contour and warm up my skin. I'll be using the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in Intensity One. So I'm gonna take my brush and Get a whole a bunch of this contour color first and then warm it up in the back of my hand, which you see me do all the time. And then from there, I'm gonna start to very lightly contour and warm up my skin. Starting at the top of my forehead. Product. 
So I'm gonna make sure I work this into my hairline in the very top of my forehead, just for a really like natural, sun-kissed, healthy glow. And since this is a cream product, it's gonna look really healthy and really glowy and clean on the skin. And then moving on to my cheeks. So also, I forgot to mention the brush I'm using. This one is the 120 Highlight Brush from Fenty Beauty. It's a highlighter brush, but this is like so easy to sculpt and contour with. So I love using it for like my contour products, especially my creams. I even use it for foundation too. This is an amazing multitasking brush. As you can see, it just kind of hugs my cheek. And it makes it just so easy to sculpt with it. And then you can kind of tap it in. And I'm gonna bring whatever's left over just straight down towards my jaw. And then scooping it straight underneath my jawline and then bringing it underneath my jawline just so everything's nice and cohesive and well blended. And then whatever's left over my brush, I'm just gonna kind of stamp the side of my nose. Moving on to my under eye concealer. I'm gonna start by brightening my under eyes first. I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener in the color 04 Crepe. So I'm gonna take this product on the back of my hand and squeeze out a little bit. And then taking a damp beauty sponge. This one is also from the Morphe collaboration with Makeup by Ariel. So you can find this in that same brush set. So I'm mainly using this on the inner part of my eye where you can see I have the most um, dark pigmentation. So I'm gonna focus it right here and just really brighten up that under eye before I go in with concealer. And then whatever's left over, I'm just gonna gently tap it in the very center of my forehead, just to bring some light back into that spot and get a little natural highlight effect. And then again, whatever's left over on the tip of my sponge, I'm gonna take on the very top of my chin. So moving on to concealer, I'll be using the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I'm gonna use a very small amount of this because it's a very, very full coverage concealer. And this is in the color Toast. And then using a 142 Zoeva Concealer Buffer Brush. This is a great brush for concealer. I'm gonna start to tap this concealer into my under eye. and then taking a little bit on the tip of my nose. My nose for some reason just doesn't absorb makeup. It's like the weirdest thing. The foundation just doesn't stick to my nose. So I always end up going back 
and putting concealer on top of my nose for the coverage because foundation just, it just doesn't stick to my nose. It's the funniest thing. And then going back with my beauty sponge, I'm gonna tap in that concealer. For this kind of makeup look, I think it's essential that you use a cream, more glowy, natural blush. So I'll be using the color Petal from Westman Atelier. This is a cream blush, and it just looks so natural and so glowy and so clean on the skin. So it's really perfect for this kind of makeup look. For cream blushes, especially ones that come in a stick, I don't like to directly apply it to my skin and like swipe it on and then try to blend it. I talk about this all the time. I think it's so helpful if you first pre-warm that up onto the top of your hand. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna deposit a good amount onto the top of my hand and kind of let it melt into the warmth of my skin, which is gonna make it so much easier to go ahead and then blend it onto my cheeks. So for the cream blush, I'll be buffing it in with the Morphe E34 brush. This is a great brush for like any cream products like cream bronzer, cream blush, even powder. It's an awesome, dense brush. So I'll be taking that, I'll be working that cream blush into the bristles. So now I'm gonna take that product that's already buffed into my brush and I'm gonna to start to stipple it onto my cheeks. With this trend, you see a lot of people applying their blush and then bringing it up towards their temple and having it really placed high up and then also Taking whatever's left over on my brush, I'm gonna drag it directly across my nose, just across the bridge of my nose. Okay, so tapping that in. And you'll notice too, I got pretty close to my under eye concealer, which is one of the reasons why I didn't preset my concealer before I went in with my blush, because if I did that, I wouldn't be able to blend this slightly on top of my concealer. And I just wanna point out my technique with cream blushes or cream bronzers. You'll notice that I'm really stippling it and pressing it into my skin. And again, I, I talk about this all the time, but if you go in with a cream product, like especially cream blush, and then you're buffing it and you're working it in to blend it, you're really just taking all that makeup, like that foundation or that cream contour that you have underneath, you're taking that product and you're just, you're you're eliminating it basically. You're lifting it up, you're, you're blending it off the skin. So I don't wanna disrupt any of the makeup that I have underneath, like my foundation and my contours. And then just a little bit across my forehead just with that healthy look. And then blush is done. Now I'm gonna go back to that Tom Ford. Now I'm gonna go back to that Tom Ford palette and I'm gonna take this beautiful, just sheer glowy cream color. This is just meant to illuminate the skin. It's beautiful underneath makeup. It's beautiful on top. In this case, I'll be using this on top of my makeup and I'll be just putting this on top of my cheekbones, just gently down the bridge of my nose. And I'm also gonna use this a little bit on my eyelid. So I'm gonna get a bunch, pop it on top of my hand. And with my fingertip, I'm gonna start to press this onto my cheekbone. Just a little bit. On top of my nose. Mm -hmm. 
And with this product in particular, you really wanna be careful with how you're applying it. Like I'm being very delicate. I'm not trying to over blend it. I'm really just kind of placing it and tapping it into my skin because this will break down your makeup that you have underneath very quickly if you're not careful. So now I'm gonna take a little bit more. and I'm gonna pop this just on the very center of my eyelid. Just to give it this really pretty, healthy, dewy glow. You know, still looking clean, but fresh. So now eyes are done except for mascara, which I'm gonna do right now. But before I get into mascara, I'm gonna curl my lashes. Moving on mascara, I've been loving this one recently. This is the Lash Mascara in Black is Black from Buxom Cosmetics. I just used this recently in my tutorial on how to apply individual eyelashes. And the reason why I like it, it's just such a nice, clean, straightforward formula. It's not clumpy, it's not overly wet or messy. So it's really great for a look like this. So using the same technique that I always talk about on my channel is I'm gonna take the wand, I'm gonna get as close to my root as possible. I'm gonna wiggle that wand back and forth and then pull it straight up. And then for those inner corner lashes that are a little bit harder to get to, I'm gonna flip my wand. I'm gonna use the very tip of it just to get those really delicate lashes. And then same goes for the end of my lashes. I just want a little more definition on these. I want them to stand out a little bit more than the rest of my lashes. So I'm gonna take the tip of my wand and just work it straight into them just to deposit more mascara. And then I'll go in and kind of comb through them. And because clean girl makeup wouldn't have any mascara clumps, I'm gonna take a comb. This is meant to brush out your lashes. So if you get too much mascara on your lashes, this is a quick, easy way to fix it. So I'm just gonna do one coat. I think it's more on trend with this look. It's more clean. Okay, going back to my concealer brush and I'm finally gonna set my under eye concealer after I've let it self set and dry down for a bit while I did the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna make sure there's no creases in my under eye before I set it with some powder because clean makeup would not have creases under their eye. Let's be real. Switching over to another Zoeva brush. This is a 110 face shape brush. I'm gonna be using this to powder my under eye concealer. And I'll finally be using this product. You probably see me hold this on camera all the time. It's a great palette just to use for uh, a mirror. So I use it all the time in my tutorials, but this is a great powder. This is the NARS uh, Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. So it's totally sheer. It's very thin, it's very lightweight, it's very clean, and it's just gonna help to brighten my under eye even more, and it's gonna help to set my concealer as well. I'm just gonna take a little bit and bring it across my forehead. I'm 
This powder really is so soft and like, it's almost like airy, like there's not much to it. So it's just, it's a great formula if you want a more natural look or a more clean makeup look. It's not gonna look overly powdery on your skin. It's just gonna look really fresh. And like, it's not even there. It's almost like totally invisible. This is a great powder. They make it in two colors as well. So switching back over to our bronzer that we used earlier in the crease of our eye. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna use this on my forehead and like the rest of my face as well, just to tie that whole look in. And also like, with clean makeup, like this trend is, it's very clean, it's very effortless, but you still want it to last all day. So by setting our cream products, or at least some of them with a powder, it's gonna help to keep it clean and looking good all day and not just like momentarily. So this will give it some longevity. And for this, I'll be using the Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill brush. This is the JH06 brush. This is just a great, fluffy, straightforward brush. And since I don't want this application of the bronzer to be too intense, I'm opting for something that's really fluffy. And so that way the application of it will be really soft and really natural. I'm really just gonna hit the top of my forehead. Make sure it's nice and blended into my hairline. And then just a little bit. To set my cream contour. And then one thing I forgot to do earlier was apply this highlighter to the tear duct of my eye. So I'm gonna take my fingertip and just pop a little bit right there. And the way I would describe this product is it's just like a fresh highlighter. It's not like a glittery, you know, shimmery, overly shimmery highlighter. It's just like a fresh, glowy, dewy, clean highlighter. So it's really perfect for this look. Next, I'll be lining my lips just very subtly using a nude lip liner. So this one's from Ben Nye. They do like a lot of like professional special effects type makeup, but this is in the color Ginger Snap and it's just a beautiful natural nude. So one thing I forgot to show on camera was I took that same cream blush we used earlier in Petal and I dabbed it on my lips before I did my lip liner. So that is what I have on my lips right now. And then now I'm gonna go with my finishing touch, which is going to be a lip balm for this look. Okay, so this product I always have in my purse. Like it's always on me, which is why I'm running out of it. It's the Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balm in the color Petal which it actually looks so similar to the blush I have on, which is in the same name. So I'll be applying this as basically like my lipstick. I'm not gonna actually put a lipstick on for this look. I'm gonna keep it nice and clean and effortless. So I think the best way to do that is just by using a tinted lip balm and like just keeping it nice and natural. Moving on to the final step in this clean makeup tutorial, I'll be setting my makeup with the Makeup Revolution Matte Fix Oil Control Setting Spray. This caught my eye because so many people have been asking me if I've tried it and so many people have been recommending it online as a great setting spray and it's really inexpensive. I think it was like under $9, it was like 850 or somewhere around there. And this was actually the last one they had in store. So when I got it, it was missing the cap and the, it's kind of beat up, like the label is, is kind of messed up, but I didn't care. I was like, I, I need to try it. So I actually sent my husband to go get it for me because I was really wanting to try it and I wasn't available to buy it at the time. I'd say it's a really good inexpensive dupe for the Makeup Forever All Nighter Setting Spray, which you know I've used for so many years. I love that setting spray. I mean, I love so many setting sprays, but that one was like my ride or die for a really, really long time. So anyway, it's, it's worth giving a shot, that's for sure. I, I definitely am impressed by it. So I'll be setting my whole face with this stuff. And then 
gonna let it dry down. So here's my finished look. This is my take on the clean makeup trend. And I think that this trend's great because it's a trend that even when it's not a trend, it's still gonna look beautiful. It's just clean, effortless, simple. It's very, very simple makeup. And it's gonna look good on so many people and it's gonna look good for a really, really long time. Like clean makeup is never gonna go out of trend, if you know what I mean. It's always gonna look good. I hope you loved this clean makeup tutorial. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm also on Instagram. I'm at makeup by Nikki LaRose. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on this look or if you see any other makeup trends you would love me to recreate. Definitely let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.